Hello everyone, my name is Muslim and uh, I'm honored to be with you today. Uh, this presentation is about sustainable 4D printed soft robotics joints controlled by reinforcement learning. And I'm a member at a 4D printing lab at Deakin University, led by Dr. Zulfakarian. In this presentation, uh, first I provide an introduction about additive manufacturing then I explained about the challenges of the additive manufacturing and how we can use AI to deal with those challenges. Then I go through a background about those methods. After that, I give details about, <coughs> sorry for that. I give details about two 4D printed structure to make a variable stiffness soft joint and the <coughs> soft joint uh, that are controlled with AI method. Then I give details about the methodology, the characteristics, and the results of these two projects. And then after that, we talk about the future perspectives and the possible applications. So uh, as we all know, basically the 3D printing is a method to build uh, intricate and accurate shapes layer by layer with variable materials. And 4D printing is a developed method based on 3D printing that fabricate objects with the ability to transform their properties over time. These properties include self-repairing, change of the shape, self-assembly, or the variability of the mechanical properties. And to provide such properties, smart materials are used in printing process, and after printing, we apply the stimulus signal to change those properties. And uh, this mentioned feature of the 4D printing made it a great candidate to fabricate soft actuators based on the various materials such as PLA and hydrogels. But there are some challenges that has slowed down the progress in this research field. And <clears throat> we will discuss how the AI can help to deal with them. All right, the first challenge is the optimizing the structure because the structure of the soft uh, uh, actuators are very complicated. So we are going to use this uh, AI method. For example, in this picture, uh, we can see a 4D printed soft actuator that can change its shape in response to external stimuli. But in different projects, various deform is desired, such as these three deforming shapes. We can train supervised AI model. The effect of these small links properties, how to get to the different change. And then the trained model can design uh, a soft actuator uh, based on the desired outcome. The next challenge is controlling the soft actuator uh, <clears throat> because the soft actuator has a high degrees of freedom. And the AI various models has shown a great capability in learning complex functions that we can utilize them in controlling soft actuators too. And last but not the least, uh, we can use AI to automate the process of the printing. The data can be read uh, online during the printing by integrated sensors and feed them to our uh, model. And then the model can decide how to control the printing process. In this presentation, we focus more on controlling the 4D printed soft actuator based on AI model. Here we can see different uh, controllers proposed by various uh, researchers to control soft actuator, uh, <clears throat> including PID, LQR, fuzzy PID neural network, more and more fuzzy um, and as, as yeah, uh, all coupled with linear classical controllers. Uh, but here we propose a pure DRL method that is easy to implement and there is no need to know the model of the system. It can converge to optimum controller and easily can be tailored to focus on various parameters like rise time or settling time. In this approach, the model is, control, is controlling the system directly uh, without coupling to a linear uh, controller. So we have more flexibility in controlling the system. Here is the two different projects, and within this project, we have introduced customized 4D printing of a variable stiffness structure. The first one is a variable stiffness shape spring. 
uh, printed with PLA, and the next one is a phase transitioning soft muscle fabricated based on silicon material. In both projects, electrical signal has been used as the stimulus signal that is applied through the carbon fiber. And this structure gives the variable stiffness ability to a soft joint robot. And the proposed AI controller, uh, the proposed AI controller is used to control the system. And the results of the project are published in the high rank journals and they are available online at the moment. All right, this is the first project. Uh, and this pr project, first we designed the structure, then the structure is printed through triple F printers and the carbon fiber has been integrated to the structure manually. And at the right, at the left, right side picture, we can see the spring uh, cycle. Uh, at the idle and the and pre-programmed shape, we are at the first state. Then if we wanna program it to a temporary shape, first we uh, heat it up to go to the second state and then apply an external force to go to the third state and then cool it down so the structure can maintain the shape, the temporary shape. And uh, after that, we can remove the external force and get to the state five, which the temporary shape is programmed to the structure. And if we wanna go back to the pre-programmed shape, we can just easily heat it up and then uh, cool it down to go to state one. And we perform a few experiments to get the features of the spring. One of the main features of the PLA structure is the recovery to the pre-programmed structure. So for this test, we print a various uh, spring with various thickness. And we first, we programmed them to a 40 millimeter length shape. Then we applied the voltage and the carbon fiber to heat them up. And as we can see here, the structures can get up to 90% recovery in 40 seconds. Then we repeat this test over and over for 25th time. And as we can see the recovery uh, performance drops from 90% to 52% in 25 cycles. And as we want to use this structure to make a variable, uh, variable stiffness soft joint, we check the stiffness variability of the structure with a tensile machine. And as we can see, uh, the structure can show a variable stiffness properly. And to fabricate that variable stiffness soft joint, we use this uh, setup that includes a uh, PC with installed MATLAB to control to apply the signal and uh, data acquisition to uh, to collect the data and amplifier to apply the signal on the soft joint concert cube and a power supply uh, and the soft joint concert cube uh, the the spring has been replaced with the variable stiffness structures that we just proposed and that, that gives it a the variable stiffness uh, property. And the goal is to rotate the motor accurately while minimizing this arm oscillation in different condition, I mean, like uh, with, with the variable stiffness. To control that setup, we utilize a DRL method that is able to learn complex model and uh, the main one of the main component is the reward function. Uh, it serves as the guiding principle for the controller's behavior. This function assigns a scalar value to, to that indicates how much the current state is desired. The primary goal is to maximize this reward over time. And for this specific project, we define our uh, reward function as here as below. Uh, the alpha indicates the oscillation angle of the arm and theta reference is the reference signal and theta is the rotation angle of the motor. Uh, so by maximizing this reward function, we're basically mi minimizing the uh, vibration and the difference between uh, rotation of the motor and the signal reference signal. The other component is the critic, which uh, uh, the, uh, approximate the next uh, reward function for the next state and it helps the 
um, other component, which uh, namely actor, to uh, update smoothly. And the actor is in response to provide the action and the environment. And our environment is uh, the cubic uh, quantum cube soft uh, joint, which is uh, equipped with variable stiffness structures. Here we <clears throat> train two different DRM model, including DDPG and TD3. And we design a PID controller as well to compare the result together. Here in this picture, we see the results of the controller. As we can see, TD3 and PID uh, can perform properly on the model. And here, uh, we change the stiffness of the structure. Then we train our AI model. And as we can see on the result, the AI controller can outperform the PID controller. Here is the project B, the 4D printed soft actuator. Uh, first, we print a cylindrical shape silicon. Then we put an expandable braided sleeve on top of that. Then we print more silicon. Then we fill it 90% of that with a tunnel and we put through a carbon fiber. By applying volt DC voltage on the carbon fiber, we heat up the a tunnel that makes the high pressure and that high pressure uh, leads the leads to the contraction that makes the variable stiffness to the structure. To make that structure, we use 3D printing of silicon. And to make that possible, we customize the 3D printer. As we can see here in this picture, left side, part A and part B comes from a syringe pump. Uh, they go through a static mixer to make sure that they are mixed properly and completely. And it prints on a mandrel that is controlled by a motor. And here in this video, we are, we are seeing the printing process. Uh, one of the main features of this muscle uh, that we have to test out uh, is the contraction. In the relaxed mode, when there is no external force, we apply 5 and 8 volt on the muscle. And as we can see, it can get to 28 contraction in 40 seconds for 8 volt and for in 50 seconds for 5 volt. Then we add an external force equal to 1.3 Newton. And again, it gets to 24% contraction, slightly less than the other time, uh, in 40 seconds for 8 volt and in 61 seconds for 5 volt. There is no built in cooling mechanism. So the recovery to initial length takes a little bit time. And the power consumption test shows that uh, in 5 volt power supply, it consumes less power. And the surface temperature test <clears throat> shows that it gets to 40%, 40 centigrade uh, in 17% contraction. And in 24% contraction, the surface gets to 50 degrees of centigrade. The result of the controller, when we add the muscle and the soft joint cancer cube, shows that TD3 and PID have a proper uh, performance. And when we change the stiffness of the muscle and we retrain our <coughs> TD3, TD3, <coughs> sorry, TD3 controller, excuse me, uh, TD3 controller can outperform the PID controller as we can see here. But apart from those tests, we made a vibration attenuation test with the soft muscle. For this test, we didn't remove the spring on the uh, soft joint cube. We just add the muscle on top of that. Then we apply a sinusoidal signal to show the vibration. As we can see here, the blue line without the muscle. We, when we add the muscle in the idle uh, position, it can affect the vibration but when we active the muscle, it can attenuate it much better that it, up to 40, 47%. And when we increase the amplitude of the vibration, it can attenuate even better up to 82%. Uh, here in this uh, presentation, we provide two fully printed variable stiffness structure. First is shaped spring and second phase transitioning muscle. 
uh, that uh, they can be exploited in any application that requires a variable stiffness mechanism, such as wearable devices, uh, like in this picture. Uh, also, the rel reliability of the controller is suitable to be used in this kind of application. And on top of that, uh, the controller is adaptable to learn the new condition, as we saw in the test. Uh, moreover, the power consumption test showed that the AI controller consumes less than 60% of the linear PID controller that makes it suitable for portable application. Also, the vibration test shows that the proposed soft muscle can be used in vibration attenuation application too. Uh, for the future work, we focus on the automating the printing process of the variable stiffness structure to reduce the labor work and integrate the controller in the vibration attenuation application to control the stiffness of the muscle to attenuate uh, more effectively. And thank you for your time. And I hope you found this presentation informative.